So what you're looking at here is just some water bottles. I'm going to go ahead and pull the end off here. And all I have is a hole drilled in the caps so a piece of tube can go up through there. So the bottom one of these is just this piece here. It has a piece of tube that sticks up that far and a draw tube that goes down into our water reservoir, which I'll show you here in a moment. Inside of that, what I have is a draw tube that goes from right there. You can see the end of it at the end of my finger. It goes all the way up and you can see the end of it right there at the end of my finger here. So it comes out the bottom of this jug, goes in through the cap of that one, and then ends there. And then once again, we have a draw tube that starts right here goes all the way up and ends there and that goes through the cap and through the bottom once again and that's our top collection container so what we're going to do is use thermodynamic processes with no moving parts to pump water from a reservoir down here to that top container and this can be done with sunlight this was the only way to get this in the camera viewer just right i just want to show you the entire thing we have a coffee can down at the bottom and I've got that full of water right up to the bottom of the lid of the first container there. And that's where that draw straw is going down into that container. And what I'm going to do with these two heaters in the background is simulate the heat of an artificial day. We're going to heat that up. I'm going to turn off the heaters and we're going to see how well it pumps. Alright, so the heaters were just turned on. You can already see the pressure gas bubbles coming out of the container down into the water. That's a good sign. That means that we're building up some pressure inside of them which that pressure now is releasing and in the void of that pressure once I turn off the heaters we're gonna have a vacuum and that vacuum should create the draw that we're looking for to make this solar evacuated pump design work. So I've just turned off the heaters and I turned them to a different direction so we could get this process happening pretty quickly and hopefully I can get a good view of that first tube. Oh look at that already water coming up the tube right then. You can see it down below pulling the water and filling up the lower container Oh, and look in the second tube there. You can see the water line going up the second tube already. So right now we're pulling water out of a lower container, basically a stagnant lake or a pond or something like that. Coming up to the top of the second tube here. Boom, we've got overflow into the second container. You can see the little crested head right there. That should be filling up our bottom. Oh yeah, I see water in there. Look at that. Alright, here we are. It's coming up over the top right there in the third container. Look at that. That went up pretty quickly. Oh, I hear the vacuum starting to do a little damage to the container there. Alright, so our system starting to collapse on itself a little bit up here at the top. You can see the container is actually starting to collapse down underneath the strain of the vacuum, which means that we have a loss in the system, which is slowly reducing the draw up into our third stage. So right now it looks like that's about as much water that got up into the third stage on our first run. Now I still see water making it up into the second stage here. I just don't see anything making its way up, and I believe that's because our catch container up here is actually collapsing and instead of using that vacuum to draw water it's actually just using it to collapse the vessel itself all right real quickly here let's go ahead and remove the heat and let's see how fast the cycle starts back over again should start seeing water move very quickly through the system oh there we go I can see the water in the tube already starting to make its way up Under pressure, it emptied the second level, and that all went up into the third level. So right now, there you go, you can see the uh, water level. And that little bubble you just saw was the top bottle collapsing under the vacuum. So there you go, we're once again, got water coming up into our second reservoir. Oh, look at that, there's water going up the third tube right now. So the next stage of this is going to be to attach some one-way valves and some other hoses off of this into a still system for the daytime pressure. Because during the daytime what I want to happen is I want the pressure generated during the daytime to be able to bleed out through a one-way valve. And that way at night, once it starts to cool, that valve shuts and the vacuum process can draw water up through the system.